toss it back to Cammy and Zach out at Steeplechase. And again, great day to be out tubing or whatever you're doing out in the snow today. Yeah, we are doing some tubing out here, Tom. We had a good time. Uh, we've had a lot of fun. The skiing is done for the season. They tested it out for 2023 out here at Steeplechase, just about 20 minutes from Rochester. And so we were just doing some tubing. That's going to stay open until the end of the month. So how was it, Zach? It was good. It, w it wasn't as bad. Nick was right. Once you get going, it's not as bad, but, uh, you know, I ended up losing, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. I think I had a little head start. So Justin Steck, he's riding up right now on the lift. He is the owner here at Steeplechase, and he said this season went really well when dealing with tubing. They have the night tubing now where you can have the music and the lights. We've been able to test that out, but it's really about revitalizing this space out here that had skiing a while back. I know a lot of folks out here had a lot of fun coming out here growing up out at steeplechase as justin mentioned there was snowmobile races and now if we look off into the distance we have the steeplechase event venue where a lot of folks get married and they have events in the summer and now they are trying to revamp that ski space how's it going up there all is well it's a perfect day out here so a lot of fun out at steeplechase i think we're going to go down the hill one more time we have to do that don't we yeah we got to do it again i got to see if i'm not going to be spending as much as time i look like uh dalvin cook in the hole down there you know spinning through the defenders but that's okay we made it down. <laughs> you had a few spin outs a little bit a little bit i was worried i was going to go over the hill i mean my legs are so long I thought you I was didn't take out you didn't go over the hill i did not thankfully <laughs> so we have our drone out here as well, checking out the beautiful area out here at Steeplechase. And Justin, when folks get married, you have this beautiful overlook for them to have the ceremony at. Yeah, our outdoor wedding platform is something that's super unique on the top of the Black Diamond, and it has the river and kind of the endless view in the background, and people really, really like that uh, any time of year. And the church is from Orinoco. It was moved into this space. Yeah, they hauled it in, I be believe, in 1998, but it's a, I want to say, 1900s chapel. Okay. Um, it's really unique, and then they did the addition for the rest of the ski chalet back in the early 2000s. Okay. So uh, we didn't, you know, have the property then, but it was uh, pretty, pretty neat the way they did it all. So you're still booking weddings this summer? Yep, we still got some availability for fall, and then... Um, you know, things are getting pretty filled up, but there's a little bit available for a few select dates. And you're looking forward to your summer to do some projects out here to get ready for the next winter. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be a lot of projects to get uh, the other. The, we have three out of the four chairlifts up and running, refurbished. We just have one more to get done, and then we're going to do a lot of cosmetic stuff and then some updates to the snowmaking equipment and hopefully add a few more ski runs as well, actually, so there's more than there was back in the day for people to enjoy. How many are there now? Uh, I think the old trail map had 19 or 20 runs. We're hoping to add, it, yeah, we're hoping to hopefully add three more, and then also some off-trail runs that are more through the woods, a little tighter. So um, there should be some really neat stuff for people next year. All right, so you can get married at the Black Diamond Run here at Steeplechase. So we're doing three, three, two. Are you coming? Come on. Yeah, we're doing. We have to finish the segment going down the hill, don't we? Okay. What are the tips, Justin, for going fast? Run and jump. What? I'm not doing that. <laughs> I am not doing that. So we again, we're at the Super Hill. There are some rules. Age is 10 plus. I, if I was 10, I don't think I'd come out here. But I mean, if you're a very um, brave 10 year old, it could be for them. Yeah, there's actually a lot of 10 and 11 year olds that enjoy it more than the parents. <laughs> so um, I think they're a little less uh, fearful than some of the adults. All right. We have a little bit of a walk here to get to our hill. Am I going in the middle lane? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us on Midwest Access today. Again, we are out at Steeplechase. We have our drone cam here and we are about to go down the super hill that is staying open through the month. Through the month? Tubing through the month of March? For sure the next two weekends. All right. Here we go, boys. Are you guys ready? Oh, Zach's going far away from me. Okay, I'm going. Here we go. Out at Steeplechase on the Super Hill. We'll be back after this commercial break. Woo!